Right, hello everybody, welcome to game number three of one game from Jim versus uh, an imaginative name here, Bretts. I better not lose to Bretts. I wonder if this guy just made this team to snipe me. Um, things he hasn't cared at all about the name of the team. Interesting. I better not lose to Bretts, holy moly. Imagine losing to Bretts. Oh god. Please god no. Oh, I just can't. KKP2. Oh, please, no. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Phew. I was so worried. I was so worried for a moment. Okay, this should be okay then, shouldn't it? Even with a wizard. Obviously might still lose, but... He's not a good blood ball coach. Oh god, it was heat I didn't even see. Oh my god. I didn't even see it was heat. I should have received. Because now I can get fucked. I should have received so that I would at least score with even men. So I couldn't have lost. If I'd received, I couldn't have lost. Now I can lose. Oh, what a fool. What a fool should have paid attention to the sweltering heat. Buck might lose. Hello, red hair. Hello, Steve Matty. There you go. Favorite time of the year. It's rare. It might be less rare, right? Next week with the uh, the Blood Bowl three beta. We'll definitely give it a go. Definitely really try to play the game. It might hurt our eyes. Still, just because they've said they've looked at it, that doesn't really mean fuck all. Cyanide could promise me absolutely fucking anything right now, and I wouldn't trust them at all. I wouldn't give an absolute... Like, I've got, I've got zero faith in that the game has been improved at all. Absolutely fucking zero faith. I hope it's better, but there's no reason to believe it'll be better at all. And yes, I know they've worked for it on six months, but there's still no reason to believe that it'll be better at all. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Phineas now. But hopefully, hopefully it's, you know, turned into a playable game. Oh, I should have received. I mean, he's got a wizard, right? So I wanted a kick. And then hopefully he uses the wizard on offense to score. Oh my god, he's taken forever. L ran out of time on setup. Oh, changing weather, good. Right, so that's there's less chance of getting diced out of the game now. I mean, getting diced out of the game is the only way to lose this game, isn't it? It's very possible. It's very possible to get diced out of the game. Not yet. Not yet. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Could have just hit with a blitzer, but doesn't. It is a fresh team yesterday, so he scummed a wizard. Not by much, but still, he still scummed a wizard. And like, I haven't really got anything, I've just got an apple. I've only got 50 more, and he's got 50 less. Well, I've got 70 more. 80 more because of the, uh, 90 more because of the fan factor. I've got 90 more, he's got 50 less. So he scummed 10. But like, realistically, I haven't really got more because, well, you know, it's just, uh, it's just an apple, isn't it? An apple isn't worth much. So, I mean, this isn't great, obviously, going base, basing heavily here because it does give them the chance of just dicing us with, like, 1Ds and stuff and Dauntless and things like that. So it's not great to give them all these hits, but on the other hand, there's also a real good chance that, the one, you know, 1Ds go wrong and stuff and he's left, like, you know, these... It's given up the strength seven are stuck on warriors, aren't they? Which is good. Strength seven, eight, armor seven are stuck on warriors. For the most part, his blitzers were uh, on strength three. A bit of a waste to stick warriors on blitzers. But I did mess up a bit. Hello, le bread mask. Ha 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 ha. Oui, oui, oui. Blip, blop, blip. This has gone pretty great. That's why this guy was behind the LOS, so that maybe he'll have to push and keep in contact. Instant potato. GFI Dauntless Blitz, love to see it, turn two. Absolutely zero ball protection. Wow. We are starting to see why he's got a 38% win rate. Yep, reroll comes in. <laughs> yeah, Arena, well done. Go for the ball sack. This is a one run at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. I can go there and punch him. <laughs> Think of the ball sacks. <laughs> Think of the ball sacks. Rowdy push. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's pretty tempting, isn't it? I want to punch him though, but then if it's a push... A punch and then I want to punch him as well. Like I want to punch the armor 7 dudes. Really bad about moving him back now because if I hadn't, then I could have screened him off. If he'd stayed there, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then he could have come through. I think there's a lot of value in just punching shit. I don't want to reroll the pickup either. You know, punch things. Glorious. Nice. No, I won't give in. Until Glorious. I'm Think of the ball sacks. I will defend. I will defend. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry, I can't really see who it was or anything. Um, I just go for the pickup and don't re-roll. And then him here is fine, like he's doing something. That's fine. This is fine, as Dio would say. Not spewing equity yet. Squig on a stick, thank you very much for staying fantastic for seven glorious months. Oh yeah. Needy two full beaver pregnancies. Got this surf at the moment. Very exciting. He's done the right move, freeing up the blitzer here, hasn't he? Very good. <laughs> yes, Steve. <laughs> hmm. Jim Shard. I mean, putting tons of pressure on next turn, though. And the ball's in his backfield. Alright, oh, well, he does the right thing and dodges this away. Hello, Frosty. Actually, pretty surprised that you did the right thing there. It may sound harsh, but there you go. I should have probably brought one of them back first, maybe. Arguably. Is there a base there at the end? I don't think so. Ever fail. Not today. Letting this guy off the sidelines is a bit shit. But he's just a peasant, isn't he? Look, 
two here, two there, one here. But yeah, letting him off the sideline was bad. Good, good shape, wasn't it? Good shape there. The old one D. I was, it was disappointing having to leave that on. There was nothing I could do there. Simply had to leave the one D. Wow, he's had horrible block dice and armor dice, to be fair. Could definitely have expected to have somebody removed Glorious. by now. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. Glorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Boom, and Futterier. Nothing special or odd about it. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, PC. Absolutely flippin' glorious. A whole year. Otherwise known as three beaver pregnancies, so thank you very much. <laughs> oh yeah. Boom, shake, shake the room. Wow, he's out of rerolls. So there's no hit on the ball. He's done quite well in that regard. He's not looking so good is next turn. do this hit first to get the other guy up. Do I blitz without Mighty Blow for an extra chance of a hit if I don't power him? I think I do, you know. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Yeah, zero reroll dice have been engaged, haven't they? For sure. Oh, I was waiting for him, but I haven't ended turn. Much deep, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately. Badly played to not have much deep. Oh, wonderful, wonderful warrior hit. Maybe not. He's playing better than 38% right now. It's quite frustrating. <laughs> quite frustrating that he's playing better than a 38 Like, he didn't for the first couple of turns, but the next couple have been pretty good. Maybe red hair. Yeah, maybe that's exactly what he's thinking. Good. 
warrior is still mobile. That's a power guess. It is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Oh my god. Right, so he's there. Don't want to leave him this 3 plus out, do I? That's entirely too easy. So as much as I want to go here to assist this hit, I guess it's more important to cover that. I think just 3 plus it for the uh, 2D. Can he surf me? I don't think he'll be able to. Oh well, yeah, I stopped them and then punched him anyway, so now he's still got that 3 plus out. That was fucking stupid, wasn't it? That was terrible. Let's let him get back up then, eh? Oof, this is going bad. This is going bad on. Now he's got this guy totally free. This guy totally free. Still incredibly holding up. Yeah, this was terrible. Him up there. She just punched him first. So she just left him there and then let him punch him. Then I could have moved him well followed and put him there. Oh, he just pulled him back. Of course, he's not going to fail anything. Actually, just had somebody back. Not necessarily, you gotta make a loaner block. Good. And there's only one on one here, so this is uh, very dodgy. Yep. Absolute fucking fail. And there's the dub skulls. Love to see it. Oh, God. Yeah, that guy, I shouldn't have cared about him dodging. I should have just had another guy back. If I had another guy back here, 
This is safe. Two guys on him, he's not he's not doing anything, is he? He could even just bolt score. Can't stall, so at least there's a two turn chance. But he's still got his wizard. Man, he's played way better than 38%. Apart from like, apart from the turn two or whatever, that was horrendous, he's played actually really quite totally fine. Bizarre. And obviously, spunking all three rerolls instantly it was horrendous. Oh, there's some extreme camera movements. Ah, fair enough, Mingle. Yeah, that was not fine, was it? I should I should have played more safe. I knew I just had to be safe to cover potatoes. I knew that's all I had to do, and then I just failed. Put more down one side, I guess so. Two turns is a bit fucking shit, isn't it? <laughs> oh, good old blood ball. Good old blood ball. This is going to be the game I lose against Burtz, my god. My fucking god. Nah, he's catching the ball. What's scary is that even if I uh, knock him over, you know, the ball could go in the crowd and it could be terrible. Exactly, yeah, 75% catch. Oh well, it re it really is Randy Devo playing. He's not putting a he's not putting a catch player under the ball on a blitz. <laughs> oh, and he gets the best possible Oh no he doesn't, it's a touchback. And so he gets the best possible scatter, but it isn't. Oh wow. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Right, he's going there. Instant. <sighs> okay, no GFIs. That complicates matters, doesn't it? Well, not no GFIs, no rerolls, isn't it? It's the uh, 
is the reality of the situation, not more GFIs. Fuck me. Oh my god, that was a GFI. Ah, oh, look a dog. Okay, I like that, because knocking him down doesn't do anything, freeing him up is bad. And then trying to sh shut this back door off a bit is alright. I know Mellow Gold is insane, isn't it? Good. So there is a GFI, but <laughs> there is a GFI, but and a three dice. I wonder if I could have like blitzed him into there. No. Punched him, blitzed him, no. Punched him, blitzed him to there, then blocked him and filled in all these and pushed him forward, maybe. <laughs> oh my god. Unbelievable. Whew. Okay, well now it's good. It's not 100% it's not one though, of course. He has got the wizard that could produce a defensive score, so not out of the woods at all. Not out of the woods at all. But scoring a two turn after getting blitzed on is alright, isn't it? <laughs> it was total insanity, yeah. He played more like 38% then. To be fair, that two turn defence was more like 38%. Hello, Skuro. Absolute legend. Uh, what am I going to do with him? Put him here and then blitz and go one, two, three, four, five, and then go back, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it is, Mengel. Yeah, it is. It absolutely is, for sure. This is why I don't want to play any stupid meme teams anymore, because what if I get birds? Like, I was so lucky that I played Rick when he was absolute shit. <laughs> that's, his, that's his own words, not mine. Because um, I had goblins and he had birds. And uh, I, think if, I think if we played today and, and I had goblins and he had birds, it would not be the same result. Oh, dear. Okay, this is okay, actually. I still think he did, Frosty. Like, as I say, apart from that first turn, the first turn was, like, horrendous. But after that, I thought he played, I thought he played, like, pretty much fine. Because he was, like, he was in a bad spot and stuff, do you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't... I didn't think he did anything horrifically wrong after that start. One, two, three, four... Five, six, hmm. No, oh, ball's right next to the thing as well, brilliant. That sucks that he's got the assist right there, but I'm not gonna GFI am I? Maybe I've gone too far over. Maybe I should have gone over here. I think this square was better. I don't know if he can hit. So not one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, J five, J five. I still think this square was better. Just because he's further out. Isn't he? Yeah, he potatoed he potatoed turn one, didn't he? Like or two. Like the the turn two play was absolutely horrific. But after that. He like he made a screen and everything. Yeah, the not catching with catch was pretty terrible. Yeah, yeah exactly, Mangle. Yeah, I thought I thought a lot of things he did were like were uh, above average in CCL. Like there were obviously some clangers. They're not putting. <laughs> Don't be mean, Frosty. <laughs> They're not putting the catch guy underneath the ball. Was, yeah, that was, you know, not what I would have done. But who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> yeah, he obviously hit him. Absolute ineptitude in the block dice. Just fuck him, he's alone or he can just get pounded into oblivion. <laughs> First and second favourite rebel coach. <laughs> Super fed. Best thing he ever did was cheat and do a ludicrous stream to try and prove that <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> hey, the Dublin skulls. Love to see it. Hey, quaddies! Enora removal! Oh, he's gone full Artemis. What an absolute shitter! <laughs> what a stupid play! Don't roll quads! <laughs> you don't, don't remove yourself! <laughs> oh, wow. That was great. That was really great. He's got the wizard, hasn't he? I should, uh, I should remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I should maybe remember that. Just like a loose cage to make a... Because he's probably going to use bolt badly. So I want a hedge against him rolling a devastating fireball. So I think just like loose loose screen so that he doesn't just wipe us out with a lucky fireball. So like not like this. Because he could fireball these three, he couldn't these four, so he should have put someone back, so there are only three getting fireball. Or like even more, like this guy could have been now nah, then he could fireball those three. So I guess he's always gonna get to fireball three. But just make sure he only fireballs three.
pretty nice two minute. Should I just try to turtle so I definitely don't lose? <laughs> it's pretty tempting. I just don't want to lose to birds. Please. Please, game, don't let me lose to birds. Oof, ooh, that was a good move. See, he left a gaping hole and then he rectified it, didn't he? He's, he's really not played bad. Like, okay, he has played bad. He hasn't played that bad at all. He hasn't played that bad. Just trying to like double layer in case of wizards. I guess I can eat that. I don't think the wizard's that devastating with him down. He did. He did well to uh, to fix that because that would have been a gaping hole and cage up here, and he would have been in a bad way. Very bad decision to roll quad skulls. PC nearly did it earlier. Rolled two, two double skulls in the same turn. Terrible, terrible idea to do that. <laughs> Not as bad in uh, in Blood Bowl 2020, is it? Not not so bad to roll that in Blood Bowl 2020 because you could re-roll them both. I wonder how worth it will be re-rolling both. Like sometimes it will be worth, worth re-rolling both. It's one of the big fears, isn't it, as bash teams against elves is when you when you get the dub skulls, like you roll the dub skulls early and then you're up shit creek not having re-rolls against like, you know, doing things Hello no alias and it's really great not having that anymore. These perpetual stuns aren't good, even though I like an arm two men up. I'm one man up now. Having having people stunned every turn, like it's been a bit of a shit half. I think I just have pulled this. You can't re-roll a re-roll, no, but what I mean is, Rubinho, if you watched PC's game today, his first block was a dub skull, which he re-rolled, and then he made a few more blocks, and then he rolled another dub skull. But in the new rules, you could re-roll, you could re-roll that dub skull, couldn't you? You could re-roll a second dub skull as well. Right, he's out of re-rolls. Brilliant. That limits his wizard a lot. And these stuns are really annoying. Do I just blitz and assist? Yeah, probably.
Fuck me. We still got the fireball here. This fireball is not. This fireball's annoying. Like, I don't know why I did that. I knew it was going to be a skull. It could only ever be a skull, couldn't it? And with him not having any new rerolls, I shouldn't. Shouldn't, uh. I should probably let him roll all of the dice. Seeing as he may well. <laughs> he may well open his turn with a one dice block. Only three turns left, though. Like, getting people stunned every turn has really not helped. I thought it was a wrestler, I was like, well, hey, <laughs> it's not bad, uh, it wasn't great though. Like five players knocked over at the start of this turn, ridiculous. How'd you get forward? Oh, probably six players knocked over at the start of the turn. Luckily he's not really putting any pressure on at all. Okay, only five down. a few people forward. Nah, not really. There wasn't really a chance, I don't think. With so many people being down. It's been too many, too many stuns this time. As an Oscar, he, he's, he used his he used his he used his first three rerolls in the first three turns of each half, and he he did potato forward like instantly. So like he's made some shocking plays. Hello, Goliath. Like I think he's relatively new, so like you know maybe he's like learned some things. Maybe he's uh, learned some things, you know, off like some streams or whatever. He hasn't played many, has he? So maybe he's like, you know, learned some basic things, but then also made some shocking errors. He's the chosen one, Big Jeffrey. But now there is a there is an opening, isn't there? Oh, but he's based the ball! Shit! <laughs> Shit, he's based the ball! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I have to go for it as well.
I'm dodging Goliath. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. He has to come back in case of a dodge, right? In case the dodge fails. He has to go there. And maybe he comes here. Or here. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. I don't think he'll chain him in. I wouldn't have done that play against Chunt. <laughs> no, he'd have to blitz to chain him in, wouldn't he? So. Oh, there's the bolt. It's a shame that I had to protect against the dodge fail, because otherwise somebody could have been holding both of those two. <laughs> no, come on. Yeah, well, that's why I thought it might have just been an alt who, who like who made it just a snipe. Do you know what I mean? But it, it's not obviously like he's he's obviously a genuine player. But yeah, maybe it was made on tilt. Yeah. No reroll, almost safe anyway, with no rerolls left in turn 15. We're almost out of the woods. I definitely think he's better than 38%, though. Hallow Imperator Augustus. It is absolute madness, yeah. I guess it helps not failing anything. <laughs> I guess that helps, to be fair. But still, just like tagging people like... Okay, I mean, that was a mark of a 38%, wasn't it? Because he should have just dodged to have a scoring threat, because now definitely can't lose. Successfully defended the Burt's record. Do I just go for the scatter? I think I do. Fuck it. No, it's really bad though, because he's got two guys with scatter. With scatter, with catch. Ah, oh, killed this guy though. Good. Yeah, it was probably a bit stupid because he's got two guys with catch, hasn't he? One in four, they just catch it. Nope. Right, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Would be a four plus pass, so it's easy just to hand it off, isn't it? Yeah. If I could fill these squares in, I could chain him off, but I can't get a guy in here. I have a zero SPP guy. Oh, baby. No, oh, three, two. There's a chance. <laughs> Get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Woo Bert Factor 
Maintained. <laughs> Get off my fucking bitch, brick. Let's <laughs> drop the Goliath games on him. <laughs> Sorry, Goliath, I know it's copyright infringement, but I just felt like it. Don't sue me, please. <laughs> uh, two. Okay. <laughs> Maybe reckless of Brandon, yeah. Maybe. That's a pretty fucking cool emote, isn't it? Afraid of my ones and skulls. Wow, does he really think he's been unlucky? <laughs> he's been unlucky on the block. Like, his block dice weren't great, and the removals were, were poor, actually. Although he made, like, millions of stuns in the second half, his removals were poor, definitely. He certainly hasn't had good dice. But uh, he also spugged away his rerolls instantly and then never failed anything. <laughs> so, you know, that's not bad, is it? Exactly, Gdernik, yeah. The spin was definitely the most unlucky, unlucky part of his game. He was never going to beat us with Burt, was he? Never in doubt. Never in doubt, but never losing. I will defend ever, ever. Oh, Goliath, glorious! Thank you very much. Gifted a tier one sub too. Howdy, Nick. Everybody's favourite American. <laughs> did you see? Did you see, good day, Nick? Did you see the? Did you see your your? Your howdy Nick appearance on on JFW. I was very happy with it, and I thought you probably just didn't even see it. Oh fuck you, you cunt! Two into one. Reroll a two into one. You made a lot of blocks. Forty nine. I got blocked. You made a lot of one one Ds. To be fair. No, oh, good. Good. I'm glad you did. Um, forty-two, twenty-eight, twenty-eight. So he had pretty, he had pretty shocking dice, block dice. <laughs> um. 26, 37, 29. Yeah, so mine didn't feel great. Loads of pushes. My armor held up 75. His armor held up 70. But I had a mighty blow. So I just weren't actually that bad. His GFIs were good. Interesting, wasn't it? That was a weird game. Oh, that's both teams. His dodges were 50. And his armor was 62. Alright, so pretty good, really. Probably had the better of the luck there. Good GFIs. There you go. Probably had the better of the luck. Ah, glorious. Glorious, Kadenik. So, yeah, probably had the better of the dice roll overall. But, I mean, you know, obviously, he gave the ball away with that. First was terrible, but I think overall he didn't play that bad at all. Right, just block, boring block. Yeah.
Block is e block first is either Random Oracle or Bill Brasky. Studman is Mighty Blow first. I either do the first one Studman or the fourth one Studman, basically. Because either like the first one to try and get a Claw Palmer as soon as possible, or the fourth one so he catches up to the other warriors. Hmm. Well, three and all. The team looks a bit weird, but not bad. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.